Retro Rob's Daily Videos. Hey, Rob here, and today I'm going to show you how to make your Japanese or really American Nintendo region free. Yeah, Nintendo used a very crude method of ensuring that games would not be played in the wrong region. And what that is, is there's a little notch on this cartridge. And if I put it into this Japanese N64, you see it, it, it won't fit. And that is because inside of this N64, I don't know if you can see that, but there's some little tabs in there. And what we need to do is remove those tabs. So what you're gonna need to do that is this for goodness sake, this is a security screwdriver. It, uh, it can be replicated. There's ways of doing it. You can see it on the web. I would highly recommend, th there's two methods of faking one of these. One is you take a flathead screwdriver and you carefully hollow it out so it makes a little notch that will fit into the notches on the screws in this. And the other is to take a pen, melt the end of it, and press it in to the screws on the back here, uh, thus making a mold and pressing down really hard and turning. I highly recommend you don't do that though, especially if you have an N64 that is maybe collectible because you don't want burnt plastic all over your N64. I just don't think that's a great way of doing it. Screwdriver one isn't too bad. I've done it, it's not my favorite way of doing it. I've never gotten it quite right. I've been able to do the screws, but I haven't been happy with it. So just, you know, these are like $5. In fact, you can get them shipped for like two bucks from China if you've got the time on eBay. Really cheap, just, just get this and do it right. So anyway, uh, there's five screws and we're gonna remove them real quick here. We're gonna find out whether this is magnetized or not, which it is not. I said five screws, didn't I? There's six. How am I supposed to trust you if you can't count? I know, I know. You're gonna marvel at how easy this is. This is like probably one of the shortest hacks you can do. Uh, some people have been hacking the cartridges. I. I cannot understand for the life of me why you would do that. The cartridges in general end up being worth more than the game system. I mean, if you if you hack up like 10 cartridges, that's more expensive than the system. So why not just hack up your system a little bit? It doesn't look too bad. Generally, well, I'll show you what I do generally, but come on, get off of there. This is not a magnetized screwdriver, by the way. Holding this up to a magnet would have been very helpful. Sorry about the background noise. I have a puppy and it's gonna be like this for a couple weeks until I train him that I will beat him for making that noise later. Not really, not really animal lovers. All right, there's my screws. Highly recommend you uh, do as I say, not as I do. Those screws should be put somewhere safe. <laughs> oh, the noise. And let's just take the top off. Probably should have taken this guy off first. And this is going to, you see this? And that's gonna come off as well. I probably should have pulled the pack out if I was thinking. And I might still end up doing that. Nope, I'm okay, there we go. There we go. What I probably should have done here is I probably should have pulled this jump pack out first. I didn't think about it. All right, so anyway, what we're looking at right now is the top half, and this is really all the deeper we have to go. Two Allen head, Allen head, uh, Phillips head screws. Let's use the right size.
If it's ever a walk, one thing I've learned over the years, if it's ever a short walk just to get the right size dang screw driver, just do it. I don't know how many times I've stripped a screw when the right screwdriver was 20, 20 feet away. And uh, yeah, I screwed the whole thing up because uh, I wasn't careful. That's a little bit small. There we go. That is wrong. There's your second tool you need, Phillips head screwdriver. You're gonna love the last tool, it's my favorite. All right, now, if we look here, these two big guys right here, let's see if we can zoom in real close. You see those guys? They need to die. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take them off. Uh, generally, I would have uh, a piece of plastic or some uh, rubber because it's, it's gonna cause a little hole in there and I don't like people to see that hole so I put a little piece of uh, black uh, tape, not not like electrical tape, but like uh, just just some uh, oh, what do they call that stuff? Aluminum tape, a little black aluminum tape, and put it over there, and then it looks real good. You can use a lot of different things, but I generally like to close them up a little bit better than this. But oh well. Okay, so next step: put on your safety glasses. Don't make fun of me; these aren't safety glasses, I know, but it's better than nothing, right? And now we're going to pull out the Dremel tool. I am also going to hold this in here. Let's see if we can bring the camera down a little bit more for you so you can see what's going on here. All right. These are a pain. And this is going to make some noise. There you go. Remember what I said about putting your screws in a safe place? Yeah. Just didn't. one. Two. Okay. If I can, I'm going to break these out, but uh, I might have to cut them. Yeah, I'm going to have to cut them. Okay. A little bit of an angle here. Popped out. that one's out. Ah. Okay. I'm going to smoothen this up a little bit. I've got a little bit of debris, which is pretty typical of this kind of operation. All right. It's like an episode of Ask Dr. Stupid. So anyway, as you can see, the tabs are now gone. And that's where your cartridge will fit it. Whoop. There's where your cartridge will fit in. So now it'll fit, it'll go plumb with this. All right, I'm gonna put it together in just a second. I'm gonna take a break real quick and get the screws that if I would have followed my own instructions, I would have secured. Okay, and I'm back and I found my screws. I don't know how many times I can tell you this, but do as I say, not as I do. Secure those screws. I just, eh, you know, years of this stuff and I still do stuff like that. And I'm sure everybody else does too, so I'm not feeling too bad, but all right. And so anyway, here I've got the top deck. I haven't actually unhooked anything. You could if you wanted to. I'm not going to in this case. Uh, if you notice, there is a little little notch right here. Actually, it's a pretty big notch. And that will make sure that you fit this in the right spot. And really, there's no choice. You really can't do it wrong. It won't fit in the wrong way. Now, this is magnetized, so I should have done it the other way. La, la, la. If this were not uh, a fairly decent N64, I would 
probably be using my power screwdriver to do this, uh, but I'm, I don't want any chance of breakage, so I'm doing it by hand. So, you know, it's better to do it by hand, even though it takes a little bit longer. You don't want to over torque these things. See, it's a little bit loose still. There we go. All right, nice and firm now. And it's pretty easy at this point. You just put this guy back together. Wait. You line it up and it's a pretty straight shot. There is uh, one possible difficulty. If you look in here, uh, there's the switch. And if you move that, you can have a problem. Now I didn't, so. But if it's not fitting together, that's really the only place to check. All right. So before you put the screws in, here's a good time to test your freaking work. And yeah, it, it fits marvelously. All right, so that's really good. So now I can run Japanese games and I can run uh, North American games on this system. And they will run natively because there's really no region code in this thing. It, <laughs> the only region code are those little uh, those little uh, nubs that it had on it. So now this is completely region free. Uh, like I said, if I happened to have uh, some stuff to fill those little holes, it doesn't matter. You can't really see them because you know it's got this. It, it has this flap up here. But generally, if I had them laying around, I definitely would have filled those two little holes just for the sake of dust and any other possible contaminants. I'm not real worried about it with this, but it's not like a Pikachu Dreamcast is worth a small fortune or anything, so I'm not real worried about it. And if you don't know the rule of tightening, see how I'm tightening this? screw and then this screw that is because I want things going even so don't screw everything on <laughs> Jesus. why do I say this stuff don't start screwing everything together on one side and then go across uh, it can cause you fitting problems it can also cause cracking other issues really just you know go opposite corners it's way easier that's actually a life lesson most things tighten better that way. So just get into that habit now. It used to really be a problem with like really old, uh, really old computer frames. But now everything all snaps together. I did my first, uh, first desktop for somebody in years. I was helping my son's friend with his uh, and I ended up doing a build up while he helped. And uh, boy, I gotta say, I was a little bit worried because it, it had been like 10 years. I mean, I work with servers now and everything's modular, but uh, it was really easy. I was impressed with how easy it is. Remember you got six screws, not five as I said. I don't know why I said that, but anyway. But anyway, uh, yeah, stuff's a lot easier now than it used to be. I gotta say, uh, even though it was like all state of the art stuff, uh, decent video card and everything. Just all plugged in. Kids got it easy now. Really do. All right, so there we are. Let's back off of this a little bit here. So you can take a look. Here is uh, Pikachu, and there's the cartridge. Here is my jump pack. By the way, if you lose this jump pack, you better replace it because they don't start without them. You need that jump pack in there. All sealed up. Looks pretty good, right? Can't really tell, but it is completely region free. All right. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, do me a favor. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more. See ya.
Retro Rob's Daily Videos.